The following evidence shows that the Jewish people have always known that ancient Israelites were dark complected. It comes from the writings of a Jewish rabbi who lived circa 8th century. He is one of their sages and teacher of the most illustrious Jewish rabbis in his time, and his writings are considered sacred in Judaism. He wrote his opinion about us as follows. Noah brought his sons and his grandsons, and he blessed them with their several settlements, and he gave them as an inheritance all the earth. He especially blessed Shem and his sons, making them dark and comely. He gave them the habitable earth. He blessed Ham and his sons, making them dark like the raven, and he gave them as an inheritance the coast of the sea. He blessed Japheth and his sons, making them entirely white, and he gave them for an inheritance the deserts and his fields. These are the inheritances with which he endowed them. Perki Durabi Eliezer 24 Perki Durabi Eliezer is the wisdom of Rabbi Eliezer which is written in chapters. The quote above comes from the 24th. Two of the sons of Abanoi were dark complected. Sem and his children were dark, but Ham and his children were darker still. In other words, Semitic and Hamitic people shared similar complexion. However, Japheth was white with all his children. He and the race he fathered looked completely different than his two brothers. The rabbi is saying that Abanoi lived to see his grandchildren. His three sons each had children, and this means they had become three nations, three races. In our culture, every child is a seed of a nation. People do not form nuclear families. They develop into a tribe. The tribe becomes a nation and a kingdom. The head of the tribe embodies the nation. His name becomes the name of the tribe, the nation, and the place the people shall dwell. The people we refer to as Israelites today were once known as Abrahamic people. Before that label, they were known as Aramic people. Before that, they were Semitic people. The latter means they were people of same. Israelites were, are, and have remained Semitic people, and therefore they must have dark complexion, at least according to the Bible and now according to Perkid Rabbi Eliezer. All the twelve sons of Israel were born in one home. They had one father, Abba Yaakobo, but from four different mothers. Two of the mothers were siblings with the same parents, and the two other women served as handmaids of the sisters. They look the same and none have since changed complexion. The work of Rab Eliezer reveals that the Jews have always known that the Israelites were black people. But more than that, it also establishes the truth that it would be difficult to prove that they, the Jewish people, could be counted among the Israelites since they are predominantly of the Germanic white stock. If you are a Christian, and you still believe that the white images they sold to you in Sunday school represent the Israelites, you have been deceived. There was a time in history that the identity of ancient Israelites was not contested. At that time, people wrote and spoke freely about ancient Israelites being black people. One of the people who shared his opinion about the dark complexion of ancient Israelites was the Jewish sage Rabbi Eliezer. We will call him Rabbi Eliezer, but of course, uh, Americans say Rabbi, and Jewish people say Rabbi, which means they have the same father. The Jews cannot argue because we are alive. Our culture and our color is undeniable. Now, we know that Jewish literature corroborates our case, and the Bible confirms the fact that the Israelites have always been black people. They live among Africans, married ancient Egyptians and Ethiopians, but at the same time they refused all contact with Gentiles, and that means Africans were considered non-Gentile. In the first century, the Gentile group included the Romans, Hasmoneans, the peoples of Asia and Asia Minor, for whom Apostle Paul was appointed as the Apostle for the Gentiles. Wake up! It is time for your redemption. I am the righteous conqueror. I wage love, I hit war.